intellectual things occur connected with them. The great deep man wrote an awful lot of treatises and journals and things like that. So I decided to concentrate more on his private life, or his love life, and the ladies who were very much part of his life. So I came up with this title, um, which I thought was rather clever, hope you agree, called My Fair Ladies. Uh, so I deal with um, the people who were, who were important, the ladies who were important in his life, and a lot of them were actresses, uh, legendary stars of the time. I suppose the one that um, audiences might know best would be Mrs. Patrick Campbell, because she was the one who was the original Eliza Doolittle in um, Pygmalion, I nearly said in My Fair Lady. But of course the original title of his play is Pygmalion, and then the uh, later musical was My Fair Lady. So I am enjoying this very much. I have researched mainly the ladies and um, all the, um, of course his mother is included, and his wife is included, and there are anecdotes about um, about all these ladies and I hope that um, the audiences will find them um, interesting but primarily entertaining because that is what I aim to do with this show is to have it an entertaining show and not in the least uh, learned or academic. I'd say he was, though in an unusual sort of way because, um, for one thing, his, his marriage was not consummated, which is an unusual thing for a start. He didn't marry until he was about 40 years of age. And he and his wife, Charlotte, lived in a celibate way for all those years, for oh, very nearly 50 years of marriage. Because Shaw, again, this is something I have in common with him as well as his height, is that um, we are both very old people. Or at least he was, he was, he rolled with me. He died when he was 94 years of age. But he was a ladies man in other ways. Until he married at the age of 40, he was quite a philanderer. In fact, he describes himself as such and wrote a play which was called The Philanderer. And then in later years, even when he was married to Charlotte, he had a number of affairs. The principal one that people might know being with Mrs. Patrick Campbell. I tell you, I've, I've been hearing about the Viking for, well, for a couple of years now. And I've, I have been saying to myself, I have to go out and see a show. And I think it's fantastic the way the Viking has created such a, such a reputation. It's a pretty high profile place now. And you know, all the actors in Dublin are keen to go out there. And so I'm delighted at last to have the opportunity of uh, starting this show of mine, which is a world premiere. My last one-man show uh, I premiered in New York. This time I'm premiering My Fair Ladies in Clontarf, so we're there. 